So when, when, when a lecture is usually a summary and <laughs> you are crazy if you think you're going to understand everything in the summary, that's, that's really crazy. So let you, you are not supposed to understand everything from the lecture. If you understood everything from the lecture, it wasn't a lecture, it was a lesson. A lecture, <laughs> you're not going to understand everything. And this is where the learning happens. Okay, so we, we were still on the part of the workload and you're still talking about, you know, how, you know, the, the, the importance of, uh, I think you're saying studying the lecture, you know, going to the lecture and actually, and I think it's one of the art that students must learn, not only first years and everything, because you have students who bank class and sometimes I argue about the importance of going to class. And you do have some students who will be like, I go to class, but I don't learn anything. And I'm like, sometimes going to class is more than just learning, but it's also about observing. Right. And you start to pick what is important. You start to pick what is reiterated. You start to pick that. Like some, sometimes I feel like, like there is like it's more like a mind game, you know, that students need to play so that they can see actually what, what, what's going on. Expansion on that. Yeah, man. Uh, as I was saying, that uh, you, 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 as a student, first year or not, you, you, over and above studying your course material, you will need to study your lecturer mainly the 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 style of your lecturer because lecturers are not the same as i said that i can teach calculus with you ben uh, and say ben let's teach the same thing ben will find one concept more interesting than the other and then maybe the other concept that Ben is not paying so much attention to is the concept that I like, that I'm paying attention to. So if you're not attending your lecture, your lectures, you 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 cannot you cannot do this thing of studying what the lecturer wants because the lecturers are there to train you, and uh, in the process of training, they have their objectives. Uh, Trust me, when, when I'm teaching topology, I, I have my main objectives as to, well, by the end of this course, these guys that I'm teaching, they should know this until this extent or up to this extent. They should know that up to this. I actually know what I'm doing. I, I, I know my product way before they get out of the course so if you are not there during lectures you might not get i mean you may not be able to kind of study your lecturer if that's what i say i always say man that if you that's what i always tell my student by the way ben that if you do not understand the mathematics the way i'm delivering it trust me that is normal you cannot understand everybody. It's just impossible for you to understand everybody. But the least that you can do is to pick up the things that I emphasize. Everything I emphasize, study the extent to which th to which I emphasize things. And the things I emphasize more, you, you might want to make sure that you unlock those things on your own, even if you do not understand the way I'm explaining it. So it's very, very important for students to master the course content, but more, more, maybe even more importantly, master your lecturer. I, I think that's the, that's the golden formula, man. You, 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 you are most likely not to enjoy the module or the course if you do not study the lecturer that is teaching the module. I remember uh, at some point, I won't mention the names, but at some point there was this guy that was teaching us. The man was lazy. He was lazy. 
very late. Uh, he, he was a visiting, you know, academic at UKZN at that time, and he was sharing the module with one of the UKZN professors. And the other <laughs> professor was very active. You know, he, he, he liked what he was doing. And the visitor, uh, I, I assume it was his visitor, because they were sharing the call. The visitor will just come there, uh, and drop definitions, and talk about the beauty of mathematics, the beauty of this theorem, with, without really explaining, uh, you know, into details and the way we were used to. And I started from, I mean, using the, the same technique that I just mentioned, I started, okay, I started saying, well, I, 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 I cannot really understand this man. I, I, I'm not sure what he's trying to, or where he's taking us, but what I'm going to do now, since I, I, I cannot get his mathematics, I'm going to try and get him. What, what, what does he want? What, what, what exactly lecture by lecture I will study the things that he emphasized on, you know, and then he will come there and say uh, this 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 definition. He, he, he had he had a certain accent. His this definition is important, and then and then then I'll be like, oh, you you have you you gave us three definitions before this one. Why are you saying this one is important? So you know, I, I started there studying what he emphasized and what he wants us to know, not, not studying his way of delivering content because that I couldn't get. I, I wasn't understanding his mathematics, but I studied him, but it, oh, this, this man, oh, he wants us to know this. No, oh, the basis theorem is important to this man. So me as a student, it must be important to me, you know, those, those are the things that you go to class for. Uh, you, 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 may get, you may be lost because, you know, this is, this, as, I, as we said, Ben, at university, lecturers usually go fast. So make note of those important things and make, trust me, man, you'll never go wrong with, with, that, with that formula. As, as the, the example I, I, I made, man, uh, the man who was teaching linear algebra together with <laughs> Prof. Rodriguez. I got Prof. Rodriguez. I used to understand Prof. Rodriguez. I'm like, hey, this, this man, he knows what he's doing. He likes this thing. Uh, he's teaching it from the heart. And then came this man. I was like, yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not understanding a thing. So I started picking up, okay, what is really important to him, because what is important to him as my lecturer, it should be important to me as a student. And that's the way, man, that's the way, that's the way I managed to balance that cause out. It was 50-50%, 50% from Rodriguez, 50% from this guy. That's the way I, I, I just managed to pull through. By studying him, not, not really the cause content when I'm in class, I'll just study what does he want? What does he want me to know? And then I'll go <laughs> and study exactly that. <laughs> you know, you know what you're saying is is huge, you know, and it's very, very, very important because I think as a student, and this applies to every student, you know, mm -hmm. one thing that I always say is to say, if you go to a class, or after every class, you must know what is important for you to know. Exactly. In fact, I say to students that go to your lecture and ask him or her, what should I know? What, what is it? What is important? I mean, they won't, they will tell you to be like, actually, you know, for this course, you know, like this is what you need to know. I mean, those are those things are in the objectives. I think every lecture, when they go to a lecture room, I mean to a lecture hall, they, they have objectives, something that they want you to know at the end of the lecture, or something that they want you to pick out of the lecture. So I would say to students that even if you don't understand, but after every lecture, go to the lecture and ask them what was the objective of the, the lecture? What was 
it that I had to know as a student. What is it that I'm supposed to pick? What is supposed to understand? They have those objectives. Then you know that, okay, this is what I need to focus. So at least you have your focus points and you know that this was the objective of the lecture. And I think it's something that, man, you know, because sometimes I think as students, we get lost in the lectures and we even get demotivated from going to lectures. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm like, it's not only about understanding the lecture, we understand that sometimes things move too fast. You know, a lecture is like 45 minutes. Obviously, sometimes it might happen that you don't understand anything from the lecture. But Every what trip. is it that you were supposed? By the way, uh, if you are not understanding anything from the lecture, that's how it's supposed to be. A lecture is just a short delivery of some huge thing. It's a, it's an introduction to some huge thing, uh, which means when when I'm giving a lecture on, uh, um, if we were to just go out of mathematics because um, we, we do not want to sound like maths here, but if I were to give you a lecture <laughs> how to make a car, trust me, in 45 minutes, I'm not going to have all the time to say oh and then you 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 put in the wheels and then the wheels by the way the tires are made from one two and three i'm not gonna do all that i'm only gonna go to the, the key things that will make the car move or, or car functional you know so when, when when a lecture is usually a summary and <laughs> you are crazy if you think you're going to understand everything in the summary. That's that's really crazy. So, like you are not supposed to understand everything from the lecture. If you understood everything from the lecture, it wasn't a lecture. It was a lesson. A lecture, you, you, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna understand everything, and this is where the learning happens. This is if you do not understand something, it means you have to. You are learning something. Trust me. Hmm. Trust me. If, if if you do not understand a, a concept, if I, if I present to you a concept and you do not understand it, it means you are learning something. It means you have a job to learn that. I I, I don't know whether you get me, Mahul, but it's just it's just like that. 